We're less than 24 hours away from the start of the 2024 Great Lakes Summer Collegiate League, which means it's almost time for the Lima Locos to take the field. And for the Locos, after coming off their seventh GLSTL championship last season, the defending champs return to Simmons Field with a new cast of players. Our Dwayne Scott has more with this season's local squad. Well, it's that time of the year as the Great Lakes Summer Collegiate Baseball League begins a new season, which means the return of Lima's very own, the Lima Locos. The last time we saw the Locos on the diamond, they were celebrating their seventh GLSCL championship. So, you might possibly wonder what the expectation for this season could be this time around. I told the guys before the season, I said, you know, if we don't win the championship, it's a failure. And I, I relayed that again this year because that, that's always the goal of the Locos. Like I said, these guys accept that challenge and they're ready for it. Uh, you know, they really are. It's exciting to be, to be getting going here. The Locos had a busy summer adding a new group of talented players looking to improve their overall games. But for these two local players, this opportunity means a little bit more. It's a blessing. Like, I'm so excited. Uh, I've been going to, I went to Locos camp every year I could. Um, been to all the home games. So it's like, it's a surreal experience to come back and actually get to put the uniform on versus sitting in the bleachers. Just being close to home, kind of having that opportunity for my family and like all my supporters to come watch and be able to come support me like they did in high school. So just uh, closer to home and a better option. Winning with a whole new set of players is not as easy as you think. There is more to winning that meets the eye, and it's even more challenging when you have to pull everything together in one summer. A lot of times with, with summer ball like this, it's how quickly can a team gel? How quickly can they get acclimated to wood bats? And, and then it just comes down to performing. When you have competitors with talent, and, and they have the desire to win as well. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, you get to play with guys all over the country, and what better place to play than your hometown. So I'm excited, I'm ready to get to know the guys and make connections with them down the road. But yeah, it's been, it's been great. We met yesterday, and you know, I know a few guys so far, but I'm, getting, I'm excited to meet all of them. And, a lot of talent out here, a lot of a lot of dudes that know how to play some ball, so I'm pretty excited for this summer. After talking with other members within the Locos organization, it's clear that the standard and expectation around this team is to win no matter who wears that Locos name across their uniform. Catch the team as they look to build upon last season's success tomorrow night right here at 7.05 p.m. against the Michigan Monarchs. Reporting in Lima, I'm Dwayne Scott, your News Now Sports.